Good morning. I'm Julie McMahon. Hello. My name is Terence O'Brien, and I am an antique specialist. Here I am outside, just behind me, with little me at Leeds Castle. Yes, I'm an expert on antiques. Over to you, Julia. Thank you, Terence. And now it's over to you, Declan, who is our Arctic, Arctic person. Over to you. Hey guys, I'm Declan. So I traveled the Arctic Circle, uh, particularly the areas of Krasnoyarskrai in Russia, uh, Nenets, Ottomanus Okrug, and Norbotten in Sweden, most of the North Russian territories. Hello, I am Paul Parante. I am the expert in scales and feathers. I do not care about the rest of the animal. Thank you, Paul, for that enticing report. So I believe we do have a caller. Caller, come in. What is up with all these crazy obsessions? Is that your question? Yes, it is. On, on who are you referring to? Anyone who came up with these crazy subjects. Well, well, I like my subject. It's something that they're all passionate about. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, you know, absolutely. Well, as you can see, you know, part of my antiques, I'd love to look at them in history, like this. This is something like from Australia. Yes, called an um, U double G boot. Um, I don't know why. This is okay. But, you know, I like to generally like to look at things that are unusual, that are made elsewhere. Where, where. You know, there was a tree that was even built You're here. You're trying to do history. Try actually looking up things from the past. I am. I'm looking at the creative crop of history. The creative of the crops of the book, you know. I mean, my friend Declan once came over and showed me this amazing ice sculpture that he bought in Antarctic. It was beautiful. It stayed frozen for many, uh, many a millennia. And, you know, the scales from the fish was amazing from Paul. Wasn't that right, sir? We oui. Look. I resent you calling my interest weird, okay? I just don't like skin and I prefer scale and feathers and that is what I have spent my time studying. And so if you have a question regarding scales or feathers, I would be happy to answer it. Why would you be so interested with feathers and scales? Because I do not like skin. Skin feels weird to me. I prefer. So you're saying you're unhappy with your own skin? Perhaps a little, but mostly everybody else's skin. Take it from me. The land where the animals live that I see, they'd be much more happier with their skin. Far cold. And. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for, folks. Thank you, Cole, okay. for calling in, and thanks to our top panelists. Thank you very much, and good night. Good night.